Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield and welcome to Fez. This is a game that I've had sitting around in my library for quite a while and I've been meaning to try and get to for probably just as long really. I don't know, it looks like it's going to be really interesting to sit down and play. I know it's quite a few years old now but it uh, was something that was requested in my most recent patron draw so we're going to have a look at this, see what it's all about. I know next to nothing about it, other than that it's like, kind of, 2D character discovers that he's like, exists in sort of a 3D realm. So I think it's going to be interesting. The art style looks delightful and cute and adorable and, I don't know, just the music here just seems nice and chill. So I think we're going to be in for a nice little experience. So let's have a look at it. I love the little pixels. I love pixel art. It's just awesome. Okay, uh, let's start a new game. Oh, load me in. <laughs> Having a snooze. Right, there's me. Whoop. Can I play the drums? I can't play the drums. I want to play the drums. How do I play them? Ah, oh, I don't know. Right. Through we go. Uh. Oh, is this like a, an elderly relative or something? <laughs> I love the monocle. Wonderfully dapper. You got mail. Walk up to the mailbox. Okay. And press X to read. Dear Gomez, please meet me at the top of village. I have something very important to tell you. Today is special day. Giza. <laughs> All right, Giza. Okay. A to jump. Oh, that's pretty high jump. Right stick to look around. Press the snap back. B to talk to villagers. Gomez! Oh, God. I'm not going mad with doing voices for everyone. <laughs> Especially little children. Right. Uh, oh, right, okay. Ah, so I can shimmy around objects. Down to drop. Can I read this? Right. Hoop. There we go. Oh, I think it was it B. B to read signs. Gomez's house. Big block capitals. All right. Uh, hello. What's your favourite shape? Mine is square. Not cube, that's for sure. Because there's no such thing. So the all of these people don't believe that a third dimension exists. I need a key for that. And I can climb the vines. Oh, okay. I love village. I lived here my whole life. Cool. No, no filthy cubes coming over here and stealing our village. I don't know. Um, let's uh, have a look around over this way. I just barge into people's homes. I can. Okay. Can I do anything in them? I don't know. I think this might be Giza's house. He's the he's the one with the eye patch, isn't he? Can't read his mail. Right. Nearly up to the top. It's taking a while to get there, but oh, there we go. Ooh. Right. Hello, Giza. Ha! There you are. Today is special day. Adventure is ready. It's Gomez time. <laughs> Any time now. Holy shit, the constellations are all Tetris. Just you wait. There you go. <laughs> Whoa. The cube.
Ooh. Okay. All right. I beg your pardon. Okay, you might have to repeat that. I think I got the last bit, but I don't know about the... No, I didn't get any of that. Is there ever going to be a way to translate this? I mean, it looks like... the way these blocks are combined, they are trying to form, like, structured sentences and words. And there's repeating patterns that looks like they could, you know, be substitutions for letters. I'm sure there must be a way to break that code. But as for what it's actually saying at the moment, I ain't got a bloody clue. It's like trying to learn our bed. Yeah. Being abducted. Oh god, they're introducing me to a third dimension. Oh, fucking hell. That was a trip. Oh. Yeah, sure. Whatever you just said. This cube done half like to chat, doesn't it? Can it put me down now, please? Oh, thank you. Ooh. Aha, the titular fez. Plonk. <laughs> right, I can now change my perspective. Whoa. Oh, okay. I broke it. Oops. I really broke it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Now this is this is different. All right. All right. What? Why am I getting flashbacks to like Doki Doki Literature Club? I thought this was just going to be cute and sweet, but now I'm just getting confused. Can I play the drums yet? Cube shot. Ah, uh, right. I've got to reassemble the cube. Treasure maps, artifacts, a brick wall. All right. Ooh. Something I can. Ugh. That's weird. Hmm. Okay, this is where things are going to get interesting. I do love the art style. This is beautiful. Alright, what are you all about? Gomez, something went wrong. I need your help. I was sent to guide you. I am Dot. The hexahedron has been fragmented. Shattered and scattered all over the world. You must restore it. 
Without it, everything will collapse. You have received a gift. A great secret has been revealed to you. There is a world beyond your village, and dimensions beyond the ones you occupy. But this door leads to the outside world, but for now it is sealed shut. The marking on it indicates that it won't open until you have collected at least one cube. There are many such doors in the world, each requiring more cubes than the last. To reach the end of this journey, you will need to find all 32 cubes. But first, you must leave this place. There are eight cube bits in this village, like this one right here. Together, they'll form a full cube, which you can use to unseal the door. Find them. Okay. So, quick recap. Shiny golden cubes. Very important. Gotta find them all. Or else the universe collapses with you in it. No pressure. And remember... Yeah, change your perspective. Now get going. Okay, so... Let's grab that. Cool. So I'm assuming this will let me down towards the, um, down here. Oh, I think this is going to be fun. I'm going to try and find the rest of these cubes. Oop. Something pinged. Does that mean that one's close? I don't know. Can I talk to you? Hmm. Ooh. I don't know what I'm stuck on. Alright, if I... Ooh. No. Oh, right, there you are. Sneaky little bit of cube. Yeah, it's going to take a little while to get used to navigating this place. But I think I might get the hang of it eventually. I need to find the key for that place, though. Don't seem to be anything over here. Treasure chest. Open it. To open it, face it from the front and press X. Oh, okay. Ah, a key. Excellent stuff. I have found a key. Keys can open any locked door, but can only be used once. Understood. All right, well, let's get back down to this place. me in. Bet you there's something. Oh, hello. It's one of the treasure maps, I'll bet. You found a treasure map. A map of what? To where? I don't know. Figure it out yourself. <laughs> Bit rude. Okay. Um, so that's cube shards. Treasure maps. I honestly don't know what that's trying to tell me. Hmm. Okay. So I wonder if there's anything else in, like, more of these buildings. Ah, there's a cube shown up here. Are you, are you just showing me what's outside the door? Because I'm guessing that's what's going on. All right. All right. I'm going to come down here and check in this one. 
I'm going to just check in every building. Because, yep. Worth doing. What do you got to say for yourself? Can it be a new direction? Whoa. <laughs> it can. Whoa. Wait, how are none of you seeing any of the other things that are written on these walls? I don't know. It's been so long time. It's your turn now. I'm tired. Plus there's the eye thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I've only just noticed that he was wearing a fez as well. Let's keep going up. I've been over there. Right. Aha! There we go. We start playing around with the perspective. We can move around a bit. Whoop. Okay, so what are we on? Six. I've got two left to find. So I'm betting they're in some of the other buildings. Ooh, there's a couple around this way. Let's check this one. Uh huh. Nothing else in here. Oh no, I like this. This is clever. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Last one gonna be in here? Yes, it is. God, look at the eyebrows on that chap. Magnificent. Okay. Cool. So, yeah, there we go. Cube shards. So now we can get down and open that door. You did it! Now you can unseal the door. Let's go. Alright. Let's, uh, let's go. Whoa. Whoa. Jeez. Come on. Let go. Right, there we are. And this way. Oh, this way. The door is unsealed! I know! <laughs> Are you ready to begin your adventure? I thought I'd already start- I thought I'd already begun. But alright, let's go. Hey, listen! Oh, God, no! Why would you do this to me? <laughs> I know this is your first time outside the village. So if you get lost, you can use the world map. Press the back button to bring up the world map. Huh. This is the world map. It shows you where you've been. You can zoom in and you use and out using the left and right bumpers. Rotate with the left and right triggers. Each node represents a place in the world. A gold plating on a node means you have found every item, secret or passage in that node. Right. Okay. So. Hmm. So there are lots of kind of branching off points from this. This the the village seems to be like the hub, I think. So that means that I've found everything in there. I don't know. It's um hard to tell. I keep pressing the wrong thing. Hmm. I don't know. This is interesting. I think I'll leave this uh, first episode off here. Just as a kind of little bit of a, a first glimpse into the world of Fez. But I'm liking this so far. I think this is going to be a really unique and interesting playthrough. Very clever idea for a little game. So I'm looking forward to seeing more of this. But for now, I'm going to wrap this episode up here. I, he's got the right idea. And I'll just say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the playlist on the channel for more Let's Plays on Metal Covers. And give this video a like or a comment just to leave your thoughts. 
And if you wish to join the ever-growing ranks of the Order of the Shield, do subscribe to the channel, and maybe even consider checking out my Patreon and becoming an officer, officer within the ranks. But thank you again for watching this video, and I'll catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Mitchell signing off. You can tell that video games are there for us to escape from reality. This shopping trolley goes in a straight line.